So guys, it's OA Java AOA. Um, I don't normally do videos like this, but um, basically we've got a database here that I found on the internet earlier of all the winter updates for the Ultimate Team players. Um, some quite interesting omissions, but also some quite handy um, inclusions as well. So I'll take you through a couple really. Um, first up, obviously top of the list, Radamel Falcao, he's gone up to 89 from 88. Um, obviously still at Atletico Madrid and then right below him also at Atletico Madrid you've got Ada Turan who is pretty cheap, probably goes for around discard value uh, to be honest, his 84 card which is pretty handy, I know I use it a lot um, but he's gone up to 86 so it'll be interesting to see how much he goes up to now because 86 is a pretty good rating, I know Fabregas is only 87 um, so that'll be interesting but then you've got Rene Adler who plays for Hamburger their goalkeeper, he's gone up by 3 to 84 so that's pretty useful. El Shirawi, who's changed position as well, actually, he's gone from a centre forward to a left winger. He's gone up by 5 to 81 from 76, so that should add some value to him. Valbuena there, gone from 80 to 82, plays for Marseille. Also changed his position to a centre attacking mid, which, which I'm quite surprised at. Whether that'll add value, I'm not sure, because I think he's quite handy to have on a wing, to be honest. But yeah, and then you've got Sandro who's gone up from 78 to 80, uh, the Spurs defensive mid. Hopper Femi Martins has gone up because he's been on fire since he transferred um, earlier in the year. Gone from 75 to 79, so he's jumped up four. Carlos Vela has gone up. And he's gone. It, Carlos Vela has been moved to right wing. Um, so that's interesting because I'd always have him down as an out-and-out -out striker. Um, but I mean I've not really been following so I, I don't know maybe they've be, been playing him on the wing Paul Pogba the ex Man United player obviously moved to Juventus in the last last year's transfer window he's gone up from 72 to 77 so another jump of 5 there um, same with Raheem Sterling gone from 69 to 74 that's another jump of 5 um, still a left winger 74 rating for He's 17, 18 years old, that is very good. Tello as well, 78 rated. He's gone up again and he's, well, he must be 19, 20. Another winger there. And on to the people that aren't on there, though. There's quite a few names that really probably ought to deserve being added to that list, really. Um, I think probably the most obvious one is Van Persie. I know he's rated 88 anyway, but I think if Falcao gone up. Van Persie definitely should. I think Perlo as well probably should have gone up. I know he's, he's getting on and people say well you know I mean you can't really be improving when he's that old but I don't know I mean I think he, he probably deserves it especially I mean he deserved to be in the team of the year. I think that was a bit of a joke that he wasn't in that um, but yeah I thought he maybe could have gone up. Suarez as well. Suarez has a good season. He's I think he's joint top of the Premier League, um, like top scorers list. Um, so I'm a bit surprised that he's not in there. I thought maybe he could have been 87 rated at least. Um, one matter as well, he's been on fire this year with his goals and assists. I think he averages either a goal or assist every game. So I think he could probably be up there, especially if Turan's up to an 86. I think Matter could be up to an 87, 88. Walcott as well. Walcott, I would have thought, would definitely have been upgraded with the form he's been in this season. He's been on fire. People talk about Gareth Bale a lot and how good Gareth Bale is. I think Walcott's got five goals more this season than him already and about, I think it's, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think it's about four or five more assists. Um, so I'm very surprised he's not been upgraded because he's been on fire. Certainly, I wouldn't have been surprised either if they did change his position maybe from a winger to a centre forward because they have been playing him through that central role and I know he he sort of played that for England the other day as well in the game against Brazil um, but yeah I am surprised that they're still rating Rooney higher than they are Van Percy. I don't think Rooney is that much better in fact I don't think Rooney is a better player than Van Percy. I think Van Percy is a much better player to be honest so I am I am coming back to that I am surprised they haven't upgraded from Percy. See Begovic there has been updated. Um, still only 78 though, which is 
very surprising. I think De Gea's, is he rated 80, 81? And I think if De Gea has been, um, is rated that highly, then Begovic should definitely be at least 80, if not, or at least on par with De Gea, because Begovic has been outstanding this season. Stoke have been outstanding at the back. Um, I think the amount of clean sheets they have had is, um, He's been a lot more impressive anyway, put it that way, compared to De Gea. Simon Mignolet as well, plays for Sunderland, their goalkeeper. I think he's had as good a season as Begovic and he deserves to have gone up. Um, probably by the same amount, probably by about two. But yeah, if there's any more changes that, that you think should have been made, just comment below and let us know. Alright, sayonara. Oh my God!